Figuring out your mic delay and ecam can be a bit of trial and error. You're sort of never quite sure how many frames it's going to be. So I made a little tool to make that a lot more accurate, a lot more straightforward. So the first thing we have to do is make sure our mic delay there is not there. And so we go off on there, we click on that, get rid of that. So that gives us a sort of clean slate. And then we're going to make sure we're in record only and we're going to hit record. We're going to quickly clap, keep the hands together, quickly double click finish and we'll we'll get that little, uh, that file. So we can click show file, have a look at it. We're going to quickly clap, keep the hands together. So now if we go back to this blog post, have a look at the delay calculator, click on that. Now this is a members thing. So Squares TV is a platform where I'm putting together loads of tools like this. I'm interviewing people. And I'm just really interested in that sort of live interactions, live video interactions that you can have either on Twitch or YouTube, or if you're teaching or if you're, whatever you're doing, just put in your email address, join Squares TV. I do ask you a little bit about yourself because I'm trying to figure out how to do best on this platform, but all you, you need to just make sure that you confirm your email address, which I have a back door to. So here we go. So that's confirmed and you're automatically forwarded to this delay calculator. So now we just go to Finder and you've got that video file that you had and just drag that onto that button there. It's not going to upload it anywhere. It's just going to be right in the browser there. And we have this file where it's, it shows you the waveform. So that's where you clapped. So you just click there, click the clap. And now just find out where your hands went together. So we can sort of guess, click on the frames, or we can just go backwards, forwards. Just find the first frame where your hands are together. There you go, nine frames. That's all you need. So if we go uh, back into Ecamm, if we go into Preferences, go into the Audio tab, and then we can just put nine in there. And now if we record another one, hello, we should have something that's in sync. Hello. So there you go. That's my little tool. It's uh, squares.tv. There's a blog post linked in the description and you can go and use that for yourself right now.